Uh, I was going to ask you about Tyler's rim pressure just in general over the last two games. Is just kind of working the offense in different ways. What is that opening up, I guess, for you and the rest of the offense? I mean, when he's aggressive, obviously making shots, that helps us. But he's also getting everybody involved, making all the right reads, and that's just showing how he's grown as a player. Um, he's uh, He is, always will be very key to us on the offensive side of things. Um, but he's getting better defensively too. So the more games he plays, the more comfortable that he's going to get. And he's already hella comfortable, so only way up, only way is up from here for him. I was also gonna ask you about Max defensively tonight. He did a lot of good things offensively, but just the rotations defensively, kind of swinging over from weak side to get the charge. Uh, just what have you seen growth on that end from him, and just what does that change, I guess, for you guys defensively? Um, Max wants to get a stop, um, and he cares because he knows that if he doesn't. We're going to get on his tail about it. I did not say a cuss word. You're welcome. Um, and so he, he he definitely tries to, to do right. He knows where he's supposed to be at on the floor. Um, he's strong. He moves his feet pretty well. And uh, he got some key stops tonight. And he's going to need to do that because, you know, he's also going to be a key part of his rotation. We all know that he can make some shots. But if you can get stops, it's going to be really hard to take you off the floor. Jimmy, a game like this, is the takeaway that you were good enough to get up 24 and a really good team, or is the takeaway we've got to find a way so it doesn't get back down to a five- or six-point game? Takeaway is we won. We got our first dub of the season, um, and we take them as they come. We living with that. Um, yes, we can be better, but like I always say, I'd rather learn from wins than from losses. And then someone like Gabe and the way he played with um, Kyle at the end. And, you know, Eric Spo always tells us he's a combo guard, but yet last year was a lot of either or. Kyle was injured. Gabe was really good against the Atlanta series. Kyle came back. What do you see from Gabe as a growth of a player, as a, as a combo guard, and that he can be with Kyle or step in for Kyle? Gabe is good. He can shoot the ball. He can finish well around the rim. Um, he plays with a lot of energy. Um, he knows damn near every play from every position. I mean, I like him and Kyle playing together. It gives Kyle the opportunity to play off the ball, come off pin downs. Gabe's so unselfish, he's trying to give him the ball and get everybody involved. Uh, I mean, that, 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 that dude's been working for however long now to prove that he belongs to play in his league, which he does. Um, and I think on, you know, many other teams, he, he could even be a starter. But I'm glad that he's on my team. Staying on the topic of Kyle and Gabe, defensively, their ability to guard up, that versatility, how does that impact the defense, and how does that make your guys' job easier? Uh, it actually makes our job really simple. Kyle always want to guard for us for some reason, but um, good for him because I don't want to go down there and hit bodies on a defensive end. Offensively, I run into people. Um, and then Gabe, Gabe a switch if you ask him slash tell him to onto a five, three, four, two, or guard the point. Like, those are the guys that you want to go to battle with that aren't scared of any matchup, no matter how big the name is, no matter what day of the week it is, no matter what time of the day it is. Um, with those two out there on the floor, you always got a chance to get a stop. Jimmy, you weren't really worried about the offense in the first two games at all, but was this what you felt was the best version of, of your, the team offense tonight? No. I think we played kind of bad offensively. Um, we got stagnant at times. We weren't moving the ball as well as we need to be moving the ball. Um, we just made some shots. Uh, that was it. I think we could be much better um, on the offensive end, for sure on the defensive end as well. But I don't think this was like peak Miami Heat offense with all the weapons that we have. I don't think so at all. Jimmy, I was going to ask you about the play late. You were, you were trying to get into your bag a little bit. Uh, and it got called to travel. Just That's what was crazy. what was your take on that? That's not a travel. <laughs> I do that upstairs every day before the game, working on my footwork. I cannot believe he called that. Tyler, it's all good, man. We we cool, but I was gonna get a bucket if he didn't call a travel. Can't believe. All right, I'm out. Peace, peace.